Hi, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Talk a little bit about accessories that you can buy for your truck to enhance your experience uh, with your truck. Uh, you know, and I'm going to show you some things on my truck that I've done, uh, and it might prompt you to have ideas about what you can do for yours. And I'm not endorsing anybody here, I'm just showing you what I did to my truck. One real simple thing I want to show you on this truck um, that I tell everybody to do, especially if they have one of these Super Duty tailgates, to protect yourself from people from stealing these. You know, I don't have a key for this. Uh, and the fact is, is a lot of time we don't lock these and it's real easy to steal these tailgates. A little thing called a McGuard uh, that you can put here that has a little key and whatnot. And I got to thinking, you know, this is 40 bucks or so on eBay, but the, it keeps somebody from taking this thing and lifting it out of here and just taking it real quick while you're not paying attention, you know, on a dark night at the mall or at the parking lot or, you know, somewhere. Instead, just put a hose clamp here. Just a regular hose clamp that'll wrap around this will slow down somebody from stealing your your tailgate. And if you have one of those tailgates that has a step back here, the Super Duty tailgate, man, that's almost $3,400 to replace that tailgate from uh, Ford Motor Company because they sell you all the parts individually. And they're almost impossible to find in the junkyard. So that's one little thing you can do to your truck that I, I hope everybody pays attention to, uh, uh, to keep somebody from jacking your damn tailgate. One of the biggest thing that people like to modify on these trucks are, are wheels and tires. I mean, you know, there's lots of different aftermarket options and whatnot out there. Um, I'm a stickler for a smooth ride, okay? I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm a pain in the ass to the tire guys, okay? Uh, I suggest to run an aftermarket wheel unless you're gonna go oversize, you know, like a, like a lift and whatnot. And that's a whole different conversation with a lift. But in my situation, what I like is a factory wheel that fits the hub correctly. You want the hub, you, you want the wheel to ride on the hub, not on the lug nuts. I've seen several aftermarket wheels uh, come loose uh, because they're actually riding on the on the studs and we're talking about an 8500 pound truck and then with loads and whatnot aftermarket wheels sometimes just aren't safe if they're not designed correctly so make sure when you buy an aftermarket wheel that it's what they call hub centered it actually rides on the hub not on the lug nuts um tires i spent the money uh michelin's i've tried a dozen different aftermarket tires uh this is a factory this is a factory tire uh, and I use nitrogen, and this, this truck just glides. The other thing I do is I put Bilstein shocks on all four corners. Uh, huge, huge difference in terms of handling, uh, an elimination of the death wobble and whatnot. Uh, Bilstein shocks are the best that money you can buy. I mean, they're expensive, but man, the truck rides so much better. The other thing I got back here are airbags. Okay, now this truck is does not have a helper spring in the back. So to keep the ride smooth, I use airbags. Now you can get really fancy with airbag setups. I do this manually. I, just, I got little Schrader valves on mine, you know, that I can just air it up depending on my loads, take it up or down. Uh, but you can get pumps and valves and all kind of stuff so you don't have to leave the cab to go up and down with different loads and whatnot. But, but airbags are a huge uh, upgrade uh, in terms of being able to increase the capacity of your truck. I've also got a Bilstein steering stabilizer up front here. Uh, that makes a big difference uh, in helping with the death wobble. I've also installed a caster kit uh, on, the, on the control arms up here that uh, give more caster that help eliminate the death wobble. The combination of good tires, uh, good tight front end parts, good alignment, uh, and nitrogen. The nitrogen in the tires make the thing just absolutely glide. One of the other upgrades that I put on this truck is some HID lighting. Um, they've got low beams and high beams so that I don't completely piss off the people around me. I've got HID in the driving lights and the running lights too. Uh, it, it just lights up the road so much better uh, when you're going down the, you know, dark roads. I like to travel at night, so I like to be able to see too. You know, going under the hood of the truck, that's a whole nother subject, and, but I will say that I do have a uh, coolant filter. But outside of that, the, the truck is pretty much stock under the hood. Uh, aftermarket Mishimoto radiator to help keep it cool. Um, it, it makes a big difference, and Mishimoto makes radiators for 7360. Uh, 6, 7, 6, 4. Uh, they've got a new updated one for 6, 4. They've had, you know, eliminated a lot of the problems they had with them. Otherwise, I'm pretty much a proponent of keeping the engine stock. Uh, a little bit of tuning and whatnot. Out in the bed here, um, you know, I keep a, a, a fuel tank toolbox back here. Uh, it's really a good idea to carry, you know, some tools with you. I'm not the most organized person, but I do have what I need when I need it. I, I make sure I keep a, a, a good tool set back here. Um, you know, screwdrivers also I keep a also I keep the stuff here to be able to fix trailer wiring and whatnot out on the road a little cheap test light uh, some crimpers and whatnot tire changing accessories around and whatnot so that you can change your tires when you need to I also keep all my fuel additives back here um, extra coolant extra oil uh, you, you know you never know when you're gonna need it 
And this setup here comes with an extra fuel tank that I gravity feed in there into my other tank. So, I you know I load up with the cheap fuel when I see it on the side of the road, and and I can carry just about a hundred gallons between the main tank and this tank. Uh, I can you know it really helps me uh, not have to stop so much. I'm, I'm not don't like to stop once I get out on the road. You know, towing accessories and whatnot are, are a whole nother subject. Um, and there's just a you know I could do a 20 minute video on all the different towing stuff. But you know, the, the one thing I want to say about towing is, is be safe. Um, you know, make sure you have your safety chains. Make sure you have everything correct as, you, as it should be uh, when you're setting the truck up to be towed. One of the things I got at the show one year that was really cool made by Reese Hitches is a hitch that's spring-loaded inside. This actually has a slider inside here. And, uh, and what happens is, is when you get on a bumpy road, especially those uh, concrete roads that have the gaps in them, and you start going down the road, the trailer will start hitting like this behind you, and actually, you know, feel like somebody's, you know, hitting the back of your seat with a uh, with a bat. Well, this has this spring-loaded thing that slides back and forth in here, and it mitigates some of that that motion. It makes a huge difference in terms of, you know, keeping this ride smooth and not beating you up so bad. We start talking about the inside of the truck. One of the best additions you can do to the inside of your truck is a set of weather tech mats. I mean, these are the nicest mats money can buy. And the ability to be able to catch all the dirt and crud that goes on in our world, especially you folks that live up north with all that winter weather and all the nastiness that involves, uh, it really makes a, a big difference in keeping the inside of the truck clean and, and, and keeping water and debris from messing up your carpet. The other thing I did to this truck is sound deaden it. Um, you know, I got sound deadener in here. I took all the interior out and sound deadened all the floors and all the way up the firewall and whatnot when I had this truck apart when I was putting it together. Uh, and this makes a huge difference in terms of keeping it quiet, uh, but also uh, keeping it uh, the heat out of the truck so your air conditioning can work more efficiently. I, I like it frosty the snowman when I ride down the road. I like it cold, cold. So keeping the heat out of the cab is makes a big difference but it, it really makes a big difference in terms of the quiet and the smoothness of the vehicle i'm a big stickler on being able to see what goes on in the engine as far as temperatures go uh, anything that you can do to to um, monitor this there's a hundred different options out there this particular tuner i got from a customer who was trading his truck in uh, and worked in my truck and it has a uh, Spartan tuning in it. I just didn't like the Spartan tuning. I, I uh, it, it was a little too much smoke for me. I'm I'm an adult. I don't need my truck to smoke. Uh, and I, I use tuning from KEM in this truck and been real real happy with it. I like to keep my cell phone right out in front of me. I do my navigation and whatnot with this with this device. Um, and I like to keep it right out in front of me. And when I'm going down the road, I use it for music. And you know, of course, I'm not supposed to be texting, but I I put the what I do when I text. I voice text. I actually put on a, a pair of earphones like this to block everything out and I could talk on the phone hands-free and uh, and also do voice text and whatnot and that's you know lots of times if you're texting me on my phone that's how I'm communicating with you is this way another big subject that could take up hours of time is stereo I don't like the factory stereos in these trucks they pretty much stink um, and this JVC unit's been a good unit and I've set it up uh, with some decent speakers uh, real real efficient speakers in the doors you know the other thing about this is it's got the uh, you know the backup camera in it you know and it's a huge makes a huge difference in terms of you know hooking up to the boat and whatnot one of the other things about uh, the stereo that I'd talk about is that there's a really cool boom box a really cool base cannon you know the, the, the speaker actually sits right here uh, that fits underneath the rear seat and I mean I'm talking about that's a killer setup um, and you know the amp goes under the rear seat back here you know my requirements for the stereo system are are pretty basic I mean it has to sound good first of all but it has to be loud enough so that I can't hear myself sing because I can't sing on key if my life depends on it so it's probably best that it's loud enough that I can't hear myself and but that way you know I can hear the music without having to hear myself also always carry yourself a good set of cables those little Mickey Mouse jumper cables won't do you any good in a power shirt you need to have uh, this big heavy wire like this okay this is this set of cables came from uh, um, Northern Tool, and I think I paid about $100 for them, but this is a, you know, a double lock cable, you know, with heavy terminals on the end. And I'm here to tell you, when you have two big batteries, and you got that, that, you know, 130 amp alternator running on one of these things, man, you can burn up a little set of cables real quick because it'll move that much juice. Make sure you have big enough cables to carry around in your truck. I'm also a stickler about lights. You can't have too much light, especially when things are going wrong. Uh, in the middle of the night, uh, you need to change a tire, or you've got a you know problem or an issue or something. You know, having adequate enough lighting, uh, rechargeable lighting. I'm not much on batteries. All of these will charge off of the main battery in the truck. You know, this particular one actually has a USB type setup. These two, you know, have their own separate chargers that I keep in the truck. But you know, you got to have them. 
because uh, you know some you know everything can and will go wrong it's Murphy's law it will go wrong and you got to be prepared for you know uh, having problems at night sometimes I just put this video out to help you have some ideas some things you can do with your truck that'll uh, you know make it a better experience of owning and riding around in it I spend a tremendous amount of time in my truck I eat in my truck I you know I ride in my truck I'm on the phone in my truck I'm, I'm constantly doing business for my truck I've slept in my truck a few times you know it, it's part it's a very important part of my life heck I you know, tow my ski boat to all different parts of the lake and different lakes to meet with people. That's part of my lifestyle. You know, our truck is a big part of our lifestyle and how we accessorize our trucks uh, really makes the, the experience of owning the truck so much better. Uh, you know, Ford gives you a basic package and then work from there to, to uh, be able to make it like you want it so that you can truly enjoy the time you have to spend in there because life's short, you know, you might as well enjoy it where you're at. Also, if you're watching my videos, and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.